I was 15. Um, I was riding home from uh, school with two friends. It was raining, he lost control of the car, and he hit a Detroit City garbage truck. I was stuck in the car. The jaws of the life had to come to get me out of the car. I was paralyzed from mid-chest down. One day, um, when my dad and I were at therapy and he happened to look down and my toes were like moving and he asked me, did you do that? And I said, no, I didn't do that. And he said, are you sure? And so he shook my legs again and my toes started moving. That was a sign that gave me hope. In 1997, when I left here, I had full on outpatient therapy. 1998, when I was in high school, I had full-on therapy. I came here after school, um, three, day, three days out of the week. Um, I began to stand. I just wanted to walk across the stage to get my diploma in high school. Um, my chair was there, and then when it was time for me to stand, they assisted me with walking across the stage. I got a standing ovation. I got screams, hollers. I got my rocky moment. I came back here for a second stay in 2016. I had um, tumors inside of my stomach, fibroid ulcers that were floating around in my stomach. Um, they started at 18 pounds in April of 2016, um, and those 20 pounds turned into 42 pounds. Um, it sucked all of the life out of me, um, all of the weight. Um, it began to break my spinal cord down. Um, I wasn't able to walk. I wasn't able to move. I was at Harper where they removed the tumors and then from Harper to the Rehab Institute of Michigan. Sports ability wasn't in play in 96. It was things going on like bowling activities and things like that. But that was kind of recreational therapy. Um, with sports ability, I came to be to know and be a part of it on my second stay. It allows me to do sports that um, the everyday world may think that we are not able to do. I am able to do bowling with them. I am able to do racing with them, which I love in the chair. Just different activities. Sports ability allows me to go um, to different events and also see other people who are in wheelchairs um, doing events as well. And then it also has enhanced my life because I know that I can do it. I take pride in Thunder in the Valley. That is where um, we practice and we practice and we practice different sports here at RIM. And then we go out uh, to Saginaw Valley and we challenge other people who are disabled in other groups. My biggest, proudest moment is my MVP that I just won in May of 2019. I was the female MVP for all of the sports. I took so much pride in that. Um, hand cycle, I did a hand cycle race. Um, I did um, also uh, archery as well. Um, I did rifle, um, just different events. Because of that second stay, sports ability came into play. Rim Foundation came into play. The MVP came into play. Go Beyond came into play. Rim Foundation has garnered me stability, it has um, garnered me activities, it has let me be a part of some great people.